know, thank you, Eric Reese, uh, but also thank you, the convergence of a uh, whole set of things that are unique in the set of uh, in the world, including its adoption now or attempted adoption in, in corporations. I think, um, you know, in the last 15 years since the turn of the century, the world's changed dramatically, um, at least for software startups. You know, the numbers people are throwing them down is uh, cost of a startup is probably plummeted by a factor of a thousand. You know, Amazon Web Services is a utility, probably the most underrated, uh, uh, biggest change for, for software entrepreneurs. You know, it used to be, you know, you needed to spend millions of dollars just on hardware, and you could never approach the amount of computing you get over AWS or its equivalents. Um, open source software, you know, GitHub, are you kidding? That's, you know, that's thousands of man years just on your own project given to you for free. So you're now standing on the shoulders of thousands or tens of thousands of, of other developers. So hardware's, uh, hardware's free, essentially it's, it's, you know, pay as you go. Software's already given to you. You need to value add on top of it. Um, and now we have processes like Lean that allow you to think about how to be efficient about your time and money. That's all Lean really is. It's not some, it's gonna make you successful. It's about what am I supposed to focus on, how and where, and when do I insert the dollars, and when do I husband the money and resources? And it turns out it is much better than how we used to do it. I don't think it's perfect, and I don't think it's the method. I think it's a method that seems to now have enough data to say it's a hell of a lot better than what we used to do. You write a plan, you go build a product, you go, I mean, we kind of go look back and go, what were we thinking? But it wasn't like we didn't get successful startups out of our process. We did. Just that they, in hindsight, they could have saved a ton of money and time and been more efficient if they would have done it this way. And that's true for software startups, but this is also true for hardware. It's also true for scientists. It's also true for, as I said, now becoming more true for corporations. I think the biggest uh, other reason for the option of lean is that we demystified a process that used to be all balled up in one. It used to be like sales and marketing and execution were all kind of like separate from what a technical founder could hope to understand. You know, technical founders would get a virtual pat on the head and say, oh, don't you worry your little head about sales. You need to hire someone with a gold chain and fancy Rolodex and, and they'll explain it to you, you know, but just give them your business plan and tell them what your revenue numbers are. I think that's so backwards. I mean, we've now proven that no, 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 the founders need to be engaged in this stuff and no, they don't need to uh, learn an MBA. They need to memorize nine boxes of here are the hypotheses we're out there testing. And if you're a scientist or engineer, Hypothesis testing, I get it, scientific method. I, you know, have hypothesis, set up experiment, you know, run experiment, get data, try to extract insight, you know, iterate the hypothesis. But, you know, how, holy cow. All of a sudden that kind of removed this m mystique about like, oh, there was this profession called sales and marketing. It turns out it's not that you don't need sales and marketing people. Of course you do, it does not. It turns out, of course you need a business plan or an operating plan. You just don't need all that crap at first because what you need to do is see if your initial hypotheses are anything else than like guesses.